wanted to do a quick little video on what I'm planning on doing in terms of modifications for this car. Uh, again, my efforts are to make this experience more raw. Um, so in that effort, I think the first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the, um, the shifter to a numeric short shifter. After doing some research, I think that's the way to go if you want the full experience in terms of, you know, upgrading the shifter feel. I originally thought about going with uh, function first. However, I think that um, it's, it's only like half or not even that, like a quarter of where you want to go uh, by paying a little bit more. Uh, you get, you know, the, the complete linkage that's whatever, billet, aluminum, and then um, along with the cables and everything, I'm gonna do the whole, whole shebang. So um, that's gonna be the first modification or upgrade. The other thing I'm going to do is the, uh, the steering wheel. So this steering wheel, it's stock. It's, to me, it's ugly. Um, the feel of it is fine, the diameter and everything like that, but to me, it's just an ugly steering wheel. So I'm gonna go with a Momo. There's a, um, a thing that you have to do in order to um, to uh, to fool the system so that uh, the ABS light doesn't come on. So I'm planning on doing that. And then um, I might upgrade the, uh, the shifter knob. The knob feels okay for the most part, but I just don't like this metal part behind it. So I'm, gonna look into possibly getting a um, a Momo or something else I'll look into it um, the other thing I noticed on the numeric um, on the numeric website was they have um, new uh, pedals and so I might upgrade the uh, the pedals along with the, uh, the dead pedal and their system looks pretty good it also widens the uh, the gas pedal so that uh, you can do a little bit. It'll help out with the heel and toe. I'm not that great with the heel and toe. And um, in this car, I don't think it's that easy. I, people say it's it's pretty easy, but I don't think so. It's easier on my um, on my 928 for whatever reason. And so uh, those are the upgrades um, that I'll do kind of more or less uh, uh, right away. The other upgrade I'm planning on doing, it's a little bit more involved, is a, um, I'm gonna put in a uh, limited slip differential. And that one, uh, just doing initial research, I'm gonna go with the wave track. Is it wave track? No, I've already forgotten the name of it. But, um, it has some kind of unique features to it. It's also maintenance maintenance free. So at some point, um, I'd like to get a uh, a limited slip in here. Uh, I might do a clutch job at the same time. I think that's like smart to do around that time frame. Again, that's a little bit more involved, but I, I definitely want a um, an L, uh, like an LSD. I don't know why these cars kind of don't come standard with that, to be honest with you. My um, my 928 has one, and uh, I like the feel of it, so I'm planning on doing that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I wanted to just kind of talk about my plans. And like I said, this effort is to um, get this car to feel more, more raw. Oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot. I'll be doing the uh, motor mounts. So I actually might do the motor mounts first, the Ren, uh, Ren line motor mounts, and then then the um, the shifter. Uh, I may not do the transmission um, mount inserts. I've heard some things about those, so I guess there's a harsh vibration at you know 2,000 or 2,500 RPM that uh, that is not that pleasant. So I might just um, do the engine motor mounts and then see where I'm at or see how that feels. Uh, and 
that is pretty much it. All right.